hello. Uh, am I tidy? Yes, I am. Um, welcome to another vlog, starting with fashion as usual. I should really tease you and say the fashion's coming later on, so you keep watching, shouldn't I? But you know I'll have lots of exciting things coming up. Um, but I can't tell you what they are at the moment. Anyway, what I wanted to share with you is what a naughty girl I've been. And do you remember those khaki, um, what do you call them? Paper bag trousers. Well, I got brown ones because I thought, boots again, I thought they would look so much better with this awesome vintage top. Now, do you remember last time I put the vintage top with the beige trousers that highlighted my tummy, but actually would look fabulous with a beige leather coat. So I might put that on in the spring and show you again. But meanwhile, I got these because they're so comfy. If only I had somewhere to go. Um, now, yes, it's all a personal choice. Um, I think the, the boots make it as usual. And I would wear these very dirty, but very gorgeous vintage glasses with this top because it's making the whole thing look very 60s, 70s, 70s, you know, serpent fashion again. I've turned them up as well. I just think the cuff looks a bit nicer. What do you think? Do you like the way I just spend all my videos with you doing this? <laughs> like some strange kind of dance. Anyway, so that's another terribly cheap outfit, terribly expensive boots and reasonable in between a gorgeous vintage top and I, well, vintage style top I should say and I'll put the details of everything below but I have to say I so agree with you all who said, you all said how lovely it looked with a, um, I think it was just a t-shirt over it so all you could see was the collar. So I'm going to have lots of fun dressing up when we can go out and meet people. I mean, I'm not going to dress up like this to sit around the house, am I? And it's very glamorous, very glamorous indeed. But I feel the right Wally posing like this. Um, you know, whether you're watching or not, it's just absurd. I um, am happier in my dog walking clothes while I'm dog walking. However, I do have Bubble coming on Saturday. So I might wear this, I might not. I'll see how I feel. Oh, by the way, before I forget, this is all in one. And get a size up because they're quite tight. And I still found it quite difficult to get into. But um, yes, get a size up. My arm's so much better, however. Look, and it hardly hurts. Woo! Oh dear. This is our favourite evening walk. I'm coming out twice a day now, hoping it will improve my sleep. So I'll just do some scenes for you, including your favourite Jack. Where's Jack? Jack? Look, here he is at my feet. Piddling away. Jack, Jack. It says hello, but he's a bit busy to stop and say hello properly. Sunshine. First sunshine I've seen in quite a few days. How lovely. Jack has found a circle of pebbles. And he's taken one out. And is very, very happy. God, you're noisy. Jack, stop being such a puppy. Gimme, gimme. Gimme. No, drop, drop. Ow, don't bite. Ready, go. 14 years old, look at him. Hello, just popping in to say that um, I need to introduce the foxes video this week because nothing awful's happened, don't panic. Um, 
But I've got this lovely footage to show you of Mummy and Daddy Fox, the pair, and how gorgeous they are together because he just stands at the top of the stairs waiting for her to finish her food. Um, and then he goes in and eats when she gives him permission to. But sadly, I haven't seen them for a week. So I suspect, because she was getting very fat, that Sox has given birth to her cubs and I won't see them for a couple of weeks. I don't understand why Basil, the dad, isn't coming in to get food because he knows where it is. Um, maybe he's looking after the cubs too. Anyway, so there'll be no footage for a couple of weeks. I hope she brings the cubs to meet me. I'm, I'm missing her terribly. I'm like, I've gone mad in lockdown. Who hasn't? I actually wander around going, socks. Because she always used to come when I called her name. Like that. Anyway, a friend um, on Instagram thinks, uh, wildlife, bit of a wildlife expert, thinks she might bring her cubs in because she trusts me. So excuse the noise in the background, but it is our beloved Chris Packham who happened to be on um, TV with one of his programmes while I was spying on the foxes. So enjoy. Oh, they've both gone now. No. Here comes Daddy. Hi, big boy. Hello, big boy. I thought she ate it all. Basil. Did she leave you some food? You're very beautiful too. Look, I've got the most awful cold sores. I took the week off. As I am talking to you now, I have no idea whether I'll get my laptop back for, I nearly said for Christmas, <laughs> for the weekend or not. I am enjoying my time off, but I think just having time off has made my body go... Ugh, I've had the worst outbreak of cold sores ever. Anyway, the reason you find me in my car is because I've got the week off and I'm not doing any important work. Sorry, I'll be back to normal next week. Um, I'm going to Waitrose. Instead of ordering online, couldn't get a delivery slot. Badly need stuff for the weekend. So I will. I was going to show you... Sorry, just saw a neighbour. I was going to show you the drive to Lewis. That's where my nearest Waitrose is, and it's across the Downs. But A, I can't work out any way of getting it to stick on the flashboard. Flashboard? Dashboard. <laughs> so you can see the lovely view. Otherwise, um, I'll try and do a little bit of filming in Lewis, depending on whether I can find a loo, depending on how long my shopping takes, depending on how my journey goes. And there's Waitrose. So, nothing much to show you in Lewis as it's raining. It's extremely miserable. But I did get my shopping at Waitrose, which cost me more than online, because there's all that eat me, eat me. So sorry, very short trip. Round Lewis, nothing much to see. See you later. Right, everyone's got one. The room from hell. Uh, this was going to be my study and an extra spare room for a single. This bed was given to me by my ex. It's probably worth more than anything else in the house because I believe it's Georgian. I don't know. It looks Victorian to me. Anyway, this is supposed to be my study, but I don't like looking north. It's too bleak. The Wi-Fi signal's hopeless. So it's become the dumping room. Look at it. Dreadful. Absolutely appalling. So this is going to be... Oh, and here's the cupboard under the stairs which is, well, at least it's hidden away, all my camera gear. So, folks, right, obviously I need to put a lot in the 
loft and I won't go in there on my own. Um, and I need a good tidy. It's not usually as bad as this. I think I last tidied it just after Christmas. Um, but I am going to make this a whole new beautiful room with a much, well, in fact, I'm not going to put a desk in it at all. What's the point? I'm going to put just a lovely sideboard and different wallpaper all to be decided on. And you will see the after, God knows when, sometime in the summer, hopefully. Oh, I've got the washing machine on. Uh, minimum makeup, about to wash my hair in scruffy clothes. I'm having a breakdown Monday. Yes, not not feeling it. I think it's because I had a week off. I'm working back into it gradually. Anyway, just wanted to share another slow cooking recipe with you. Oh my God, this smells so good. And it's vegan. And it's time for what am I cooking? It's slow cooker time again. Now that is jackfruit, onions. I've marinated it overnight, actually longer than overnight, but that's what they suggest. And that's all going in the slow cooker with potatoes, cabbage, onions, garlic, everything. And then I made homemade barbecue sauce, which I shall put in. So all that goes in the cooker, the slow cooker, bang. And that's going to be on for six hours, bang. There goes the homemade barbecue sauce. Worried about the amount of sugar in it. Uh, I might add a bit of white wine. And six hours later, that jackfruit you should, I should be able to use a fork to make it into shreds. Apparently, the whole thing tastes like pulled pork. And as I don't like eating piggies, um, I'm really looking forward to this. I'll show you later. So, this is five hours later. Look at all that steam. So, this is... I'm trying to find some jackfruit. There's the jackfruit, which... I can't do it with one hand. I'll have to show you when it's on a plate, if it's not too dark. But in this sauce, and when you shred it, it's quite, oh, there we are, it's shredding. It's quite difficult to shred it, but it looks very like pulled pork. Anyway, I'll have a go at that and show you later. Mm, yum. I couldn't show you the jackfruit recipe nicely put on a plate with some greens because it got too dark. And I have to be honest, I hated it. Um, I think it's the sugar. I don't like sugar in cooking. Uh, I don't know. I hate, hate artificial sweetener. I don't like honey. Well, honey might have been better. But the jackfruit just doesn't do it for me. I, I love my vegan burgers made from pea protein. I love my um, plant mints, which again, I think is made from pea protein. I'm not getting on with jackfruit at all. I've been the lot, I'm afraid. The sauce was disgusting. I put the ingredients below and some of you might like it. I mean, it, it, I did find it online. I think it was BBC. Um, I think I just put too much sugar in it. Maybe I put too much everything in it. Um, and the jackfruit, I just don't get, get on with. It doesn't taste like pulled pork. Well, sort of does. I think I need to try a different recipe. So I ate the potatoes. <laughs> I had a bit of a carb meal. Um, but the rest of it, I'm afraid I didn't enjoy. But listen, I share everything with you. So the recipe's below where the video picture is. So if you want to try it, let me know. Right. Hello, doggy. Um, anyway, I'm in Eastbourne to collect my laptop. And it's such a beautiful day. I thought I'd stop here first because they're not open uh, at one when I arrived. And Jack and I are having a little walk along the beach. So I'll show you the pier. Beautiful day. But he's so, he's oh, he's so placid, isn't he? Yeah. Jack, look, know the half of it, look really. at Jack, terrified. That <laughs> whale, that tail is saying, "I'm really nervous." <laughs> oh, Jack, was that a nice big Rottweiler friend? Here.
Here's Eastbourne Pier. And I saw somebody carrying coffee. So look how clean and tidy it is and uncrowded compared to Brighton. I really must come more often. Not that we're supposed to be traveling this far unless it's essential. It's essential today. Look at that sky. Okay, I've kept a little bit of fashion till the end. And I've got you really low so you can see another new purchase. Boots. I like clumpy, as you know, these are so comfortable and so warm. They're Russell and Bromley, sort of Chelsea biker boots. Um, I will dress up lots of outfits with them, but for the moment, I've just thrown a long skirt on because I've got a bubble coming for dinner. And I shall, here we go, and I shall wind up after I've moved the camera up. Anyway, is that too low? Oh, goodness me, I'll have to, there we are. Um, I wanted to show you this as well. I've been going a bit mad, but I've been lusting after all those gold chains that everyone's wearing on TV all of a sudden. Um, so, sorry, just checking I'm looking in the right place. So I have a great, she's becoming a bit of a maid, a lovely lady in Brighton called Emma. I shall put all the details below, but she actually repurposed this for me. It's got a whole little vintage story. It was eventually, eventually originally um, Celine. God, I hope I've got that right. I'll write it all down below if I've um, buggered it up. Um, and she just repurposed it for me. So it's recycled, recycled, pre-loved and designer. And she did me a fantastic deal. And I have a little bracelet she made as well. Look at this to keep the little coin theme going. You know me by now. I only wear the same earrings and the same, oh, there's one missing, and the same necklaces all the time till I wear a big chunky. Anyway, you know this knit. I'm too hot in it actually, but I wanted to wear something to show off the necklace when I saw her earlier. So um, I hope you like. So thank you for watching the vlog and getting this far a lot this week, wasn't there? Well, that was because I missed the week before. Didn't get my laptop till four days ago on the Tuesday, glorious day in Eastbourne. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to all the new subscribers. I'm seeing you on Instagram. I'm seeing you here. I am so made up. I cannot tell you. And also happy Women's International Day on Monday, March the 8th. And this year's hashtag is choose to challenge. So the obvious one for me is going to be hashtag choose to challenge ageism. We won't have it, will we girls? Um, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my new lovelies, big welcome. And I'm sorry if you've seen it before, but here's the weekly Monday mindfulness that I put on Instagram every Monday. See you next week. Happy Monday from Jack and me. There he is. Look, I've got pyjamas on. I'm just making an effort from the waist up. Anyway, we've had beautiful sunshine. So here's your Monday mindfulness full of gorgeous sunsets.